the ever capable and always culpable. Constable Fainstable. Fainstable! Thank you for joining us once again for another exciting edition of the ever capable and always culpable Constable Finstable. That's me. What we have here is an ordinary frozen pizza. Some people like to tweak them, some people don't. You can put the whole thing in kit and wool in the oven, or you can go out of your way to a slight extent and hook it up. What we have here is an ordinary knife. We're going to very carefully remove the packaging. Now, as you can see, there's nothing upon this pizza but a bit of cheese. I say we hook it up. So, we're going to add a bit more cheese, different types of cheese, really put it on there good and proper. Then spread it around, and around, and around, and around. Like the volley of badminton, you know. So many shuttlecocks, so little time. Little palm. Little homegrown oregano. Remember, when you're working, make sure you're conscious of small children. Little Italian spice. Just a tad of salt, a little pepper, black pepper if you got it, red pepper if you have that as well, the powder of onion, and a bit of the powder of garlic. Just a spritz, you know. And we're going to pop this into the oven, preheated at 425 degrees, straight away on the rack. Can you see that, children? Here we go. Very carefully, don't burn yourself. And that we will revisit in part two to show you its result. If there's any questions, please feel free to leave comments where the comments go. And a special shout out to the Vanderbeer Briggs, Spencer Vanderbeer, and Rico Carabino who just also celebrated a birthday. Spot plug. And the SSI, Miss Laura. None of this would be possible without her. Thank you once again for joining us. We'll see you in part two. The ever capable and always culpable.